I've been trying to get a perfect temperature and humidity sensor and so I've, what I've done is run a test between the DHT31 and the HDC1010 so that's two different manufacturers uh, precision temperature sensors here are the two running in parallel and it's an ESP8266 displaying the results um, my thanks go to Closed Cube Limited who provided a breakout board with the HDC1010 sensor uh, that's a another precision sensor I couldn't get the results to correlate but I discovered by putting a cap in this case just a drinks cap over the top of the sensors I got the uh, results to correlate now I've just taking the cap off for the purposes of this demonstration and already the results are showing a difference but with time they do correlate and they do converge back to almost identical readings um, certainly on temperature on humidity they're 0.05 percent out on the SHT31 so that sort of homogenization of the atmosphere inside that cup equalizes the readings um, before I couldn't get anything to to uh, correlate um, in terms of the readings below you'll see that I've done 19 to 19.6 49.9 to 48.9 that those readings assume, put a tolerance on the HDC 1010 and on the other side of the display 19.2 to 19.6 44.2 to 42.8 are tolerance results reference to the SHT 31 I don't know which one's correct but every time I run this test the temperature and humidity sit within those tolerance bands so I'm I'm quite pleased that I've got two sensors now giving me exactly the same results within acceptable margins. So what I've done now is show you here the um, off the data sheets. DHT31 is plus or minus 0 0.3, 0 0.2 for the HDC1010. Um, resolution is temperature resolution is about the same. Much greater temperature range on the DHT31. For reading purposes um, not a lot else to choose from between the two on balance you'd probably choose the HDC 1010 here's the um, the graphs from the data sheets note that on the HDC 10 for humidity at 10% and 80% the accuracy starts to tail off a tiny bit by one extra percent the temperature variation or accuracy variation peaks at around about 30 degrees Celsius but um, it's quite um, non-linear uh, to say the least um, for the rest of the range whereas on the SHT31 for both humidity and temperature I think overall the results are very very good um, so slightly less accurate but overall a much better device I think that's my conclusion the SHT31 provides the best overall performance and accuracy for most applications and in the notes there you can see where you can buy them